We're back for another cutthroat day here at the Intel Creator Challenge. If you haven't seen what some people are willing to do for some PC parts, then make sure to check out all of our previous episodes. But today on this episode, I'm your host, Mr. Yeaster, and together we're going to witness something truly special. But before I can reveal that, first let's catch you up. The Intel Creator Challenge has always been about building PCs in creative, expressive, albeit expensive ways. We've had esports tournaments, worked with modders all over the world, and even gave out some pretty big checks. My favorite segment was building PCs while eating super spicy chips. Looked grueling. Looking at some of these amazing systems and creative ideas, you're probably wondering what we have in store for you today. Instead of focusing on pure artistry like in previous years, today we have the need for speed. We have a handful of competitors here today who each think they have what it takes to be crowned the fastest PC builder. Our competitors will be each building identical systems, with the slowest builder being eliminated each round. On the bright side, each competitor will be able to keep any computer that they successfully build for a little bit more motivation to not be eliminated. But without any further ado, let's see who's competing for the crown today. First up, we have Scattervolt, who creates PC build guides for the everyday gamer, focused on affordable but powerful builds. I'm aware two of the guys here are solely from TikTok. The reality is those of us who are here from YouTube are here on Merit. Those who are from TikTok are here on Clout. Up next, we have DePoets, a lifestyle tech creator who is also both a PC enthusiast and overclocking enthusiast. This is also going to be a nice bonding experience for all the contestants when they all shake my hand saying, hey, good job winning. Just kind of call me the, the mayor of tech. Also competing, we have Tony Tech Bytes, who is well known for his energetic, fast paced and overall entertaining tech content. I'd like to say I have a couple tricks up my sleeve considering I'm the youngest one out of them and I don't think they stand a chance with my nimble fingers. Last but not least, we have designs by IFR, who are specialist builders of custom PCs, particularly skilled in extravagant water cooling. So your competition for the event is going to be Tony Tech Bytes, the Poets, and Scatterbolt. Uh, how scared are you of the competition? Who who are they? Who are they? like who are these people? I'm not good at this, man. I'm not like a good actor. I can't do I can't I can't script anything. I'm like the worst. Seriously though, I've never heard of any of those guys. We're more than excited to have all of these builders here today going head to head, so let's get started. The first system that we'll be building today will be from our friends over at CyberPower, featuring a 13th gen Intel Core i5 and an Azeroc B660M motherboard. On top of that, we'll have an MSI RTX 3060 Aero ITX GPU, which will be small, but it will be powerful. On top of that, we'll have 16 gigs of XPG DDR4 memory and a one terabyte NVMe SSD from Crucial. To wrap things up, we'll have a 600 watt power supply from EVGA, and to keep things simple for the first build, we'll stick with air cooling. At this point, we have our hardware, we have our competitors. Now let's quickly touch on the rules. Each builder will be given one large and one small screwdriver, as well as a box cutter. Additional tools are available, but they shouldn't need to use them. The system must be structurally sound. This means a minimum of six screws in the motherboard, all radiator and fan screws must be installed, and all screws in the power supply and graphics card should be used. If needed, thermal paste must be applied to the CPU, with extra credit if a smiley face thermal paste pattern is used. And while cable management is an art, we can't expect everyone to be perfect, so we're just going to expect every cable to be plugged in. This includes all power, fans, RGB, front panel, and cooler control cables. And that's about all we have for the rules. Looks like everyone's here and ready to rumble. How are you all feeling? You guys ready to get started? Ready. All right. Well, with that, screwdrivers up, please. And we can begin the build in three, two, one, go. I already had a sort of like order of operations of what I was gonna do first. First thing I did was that I removed both case panels, slapped in the IO shield first thing, while the case was still on the desk. Whereas I think my competitors, they immediately put it away and they had to do the panel stuff and maybe the IO shield on the floor or on the table. I know everybody here is gonna be able to put this together very quickly. It's more about who's gonna be able to do it more efficiently uh, with the guidelines of the competition. You know, it just needs to turn up. It doesn't have to look pretty.
So looking over on my left, uh, I noticed Tristan is, is kind of a slow poke. He's a pro when it comes to water cooling builds, but I feel like you have to master the basics before you get to the advanced stuff. And um, I don't know, he hasn't reached that step yet. Terrence over there, he's looking like he's reaching retirement age. So I wonder how he's doing over there. They're not built for this. I knew that the first thing I wanted to do was build the motherboard. So going into it, I wanted to have the motherboard build. And then my idea was to do the motherboard, then to do the fans, then put the GPU in last. The only thing that really tripped me up was putting in the screws for the motherboard standoffs because that screwdriver we were using didn't have a magnetic tip. So trying to get that while your hands are shaking because it's a speed building contest was pretty nerve wracking. I'm building the computer so everything is completely organized. So if there is a problem, I can go back and find what the problem is quickly rather than having to unplug everything and do it all again. I saw that Design by IFR was spending a lot of time on things that didn't quite matter for the competition, the cable management. You know, mine cable management went out the door. It was more just plug it in, move on, plug it in, move on. Do you have trouble with the power supply bracket for the case? Well, I'm just gotta be careful with it. The holes don't line up. This is stupid. So I'm looking at everyone else's builds and I noticed that they have three fans at the front as intake, but I put one at the top and one at the back. I wonder if that's gonna slow me down. I'm gonna need a power supply cable in a second. You done? Close, but I need a power supply cable. So as I was completing the build, I was looking at the current progress of the other contestants when I was finishing up and I was really surprised to see Tony Tech Bites and the Poets so close and I was thinking okay they're gonna be about the same pace so maybe if I can keep up my skills of knowing how to just put together the basics all the components I think that can give me a slight edge. The intensity in this room is palpable. It's clear that no one here wants their PC to be turned on last and honestly Scattervolt it looks like you are cruising through this right now. How are you feeling? Feeling like I'm Adam Thielen from the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> what step are you on? Are you, are you ready to boot up? Oh, dude, I'm putting on the case panels right now. Tony, how are you feeling here? Good. Good, what step are you on? Uh, mounting some more case fans and then almost there. Feels like an episode of Chopped. <laughs> it really does. The competition here, like, it really, it really brings out that energy that makes you just you know, kind of takes you out of that normal element, puts you in a whole different zone. Yeah, when I'm building PCs, I'm normally just taking my time, going through every step, commentating on everything, but can't be wasting time talking. That's right, well, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you to it. <laughs> Thank you. DePoitz, how you doing over here? Oh, you know, just another day. Just and another LA. day. Oh yeah. That's just... the coolest response we've, we've heard so far. <laughs> cool, Seven calm, four. and collected. Exactly. You know, I'm about to go outside, do some Tai Chi, come back and finish <laughs> this. Tristan, how are you feeling? What's going um, through your mind? I shouldn't have tried to cable manage. Oh, no. <laughs> the cables are a beast and a half. Yeah, no. Just want to make sure it's right. Oh, it's going. It's going. 15 seconds. Ready? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first completed PC build. Scatterbolt, that was, that was honestly so impressive. <laughs> you, you crushed that. How many, PCs, how, many, how many PCs do you build in a typical month? Well, to give a little bit of credit, this is my territory. Budget builds, simple motherboard, simple case layout, simple cooling layout. This is what I'm used to. This is just another Scatterbolt video. This is just putting together a bunch of computer that any other PC gamer will put together 
probably under $1,000, just speeding up the building process by two times. That's right. So I knew most of this by hand, but while the speed was there, it's not a guarantee I'll still be lasting in the upcoming rounds when the parts get more complex. I wasn't really surprised to see Mark Dunn because he does budget PC builds pretty much every week. He's excellent when it comes to that, but uh, the competition to my left, they don't really do this type of stuff. I think I kind of guessed that uh, Tony and Scatterbolt would probably have the leg up on the easier builds because they've done a lot more of these. For me, I've done a wide range of builds and then Design by Fire has done a lot more complex water cooling builds. So I kind of figured this would kind of be the ranking for who would actually finish like first, second, third, fourth. Actually, there's only one, two. Am I missing a fan? Because I see Terrence holding a fan in his hand. And he's like, wait, why do I only have three fans? And I, I look over and I'm like, hey, you, you have one of the fans in your hand that's not plugged in. The competition is heating up. We see side panels coming back into place, which means the competitors are ready to turn on these computers. In theory. The cutthroat competition is becoming cutthroat. You just relax over there. Mm. You'll make it. Take a breather. I think I'm ready. Oh, -ho -ho. that looks promising, sir. The second one completed in the first round. Thank How's it feel? Uh, like victory. Victory? Yes. Well, it counts as a victory. <laughs> but honestly, moving right over to Tony, he's nearly ready to turn on his PC as well with one finishing touch. Can he be, can he be the last competitor out Three, of round one? Three, two, one. Oh, and it spins to life. Just like that, Tony. Were you the last competitor out of round one? How'd that feel? Yeah. Well done. And with that, I believe you're moving on to round two. Congratulations. Thank you. And with that, we have our three competitors moving on to round two, which means, unfortunately, designed by IFR, you unfortunately have been eliminated. <laughs> Damn, this sucks. You know, like I, I, I was still hoping that one of their computers would just randomly shut off <laughs> and you guys would find a problem. A valiant effort though. In the moment, I was just like, okay, I gotta get off stage. So I like got off stage real quick, which I shouldn't have done, but. <laughs> but for everyone else, congratulations. And we'll get ready for the second round. Our second build today comes from the good people over at NZXT, this time featuring the 13th gen Intel Core i7, which when compared to the i5 from the previous build, has more cores, more speed, and overall more performance. What that means for our competitors in this round is that it's going to get a bit more complex. In addition to the 13th gen Intel Core i7, we're going to be pairing that with an MSI Pro Z790 motherboard, as well as a PNY 4070 Ti graphics card. On top of that, we'll have 16 gigs of Team Group's DDR4 RAM, as well as Crucial's one terabyte NVMe SSD. To wrap things up, we use NZXT's 750 watt gold rated power supply, as well as NZXT's AIO, the Kraken X63. I'm really excited to see all the NZXT parts over here because I've been working with their parts for uh, many years. I look over to my left and I notice the poets is just looking mad confused. So walking up to the builds, I was looking at every single part and I'm like, okay, uh, the motherboard should be no problem because I think this is gonna be just straightforward. Putting fans on an AIO, no problem. But I've never worked with an NZXT AIO. So I already knew that Tony was gonna have a leg up. So with that, we're ready to start the second round of this competition. Builders, are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, screwdrivers back up. Begin the build in three, two, <laughs> one, go! So I was thinking of using the same strategy that I had first time. So dealing with the case and the IO shield first thing. Exciting times. Things got a little bit dicey. I actually started sweating a little bit because I was seeing how much progress Tony Tech Bytes was making. And I found out he actually had a trick with the water cooler on installing that in a much shorter amount of time than I did. So I was really crunching for time. Since I used this AIO before, I actually had a few tricks up my sleeve. I read the manual a few years ago when I first bought a Kraken cooler and I noticed that there was a different way to mount 
the radiator and the fans onto the case. So instead of using eight long screws with the fans onto the radiator and eight short screws to mount the radiator onto the case, I mounted eight long screws straight through the case and the fans into the radiator. And that saved a bit of time. They don't know I know this trick. Normally, I would read the manual. But this is a competition with time, so there was no time to read any manuals. Come on, NZXT. Could be better than that. So right when I got eliminated, my vote was for Mark. We were all sitting in like the back room, and I was like, I think Mark's gonna get, gonna take it. But as I'm watching the second round and I'm seeing Tony build, I was like, oh my God, he's really fast. Like, too fast. It's a triple slot card. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> The competition feels even more intense this second round. Now, Scattervolt, you, by all accounts, breezed through that first round. How are you feeling this round? Uh, you know, a little bit superstitious. Superstitious? Mm-hmm. All right. I think the other two guys stepped up their game. <laughs> if they beat me, then they beat me on merit. Good for them. Well, the good news is there are still two slots available for the final round, so you don't have to come in first, you just can't come in last. Best of luck, sir. Tony, how are things going over here? Pretty good, I love NZXT. You do love NZXT, yeah, okay. The front panel block really helped a lot with uh, uh, the cables. You mean you don't enjoy just plugging in no. <laughs> seven different ones for, for power? No. It looks like you're, you're pretty close to done. Tell me about the final steps that you're taking. Uh, so I'm plugging in the graphics card, and then uh, I just had to plug in SATA power. Goodness, you're so close. Let's check in with the poets. How you doing over here? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Just kind of moving right along. Just want to make sure I don't burn the place down. <laughs> A lot of plastic on on these graphics cards this time around. Yeah, it is. Okay. How would you rate? How would you rate the difficulty from the previous build to this one? Well, this one is uh, more just kind of straightforward for AIO design, and it makes it kind of easy with the. Uh, the front panel connector already just being attached, which is nice. Sounds like also a... So just one plug. It's true. Yeah. That so I.O. Like block that. sounds like a fan favorite. Let's see. There's, and, uh, yeah, I'm missing screws. Screwdriver, the ability to... Ah, oh, there it is. Thank you very much. You don't like have your host, normal tools. Is, yeah, I know. You know? The host is assisting me. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta help everyone. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. I see some uh, some panels coming back on. Does that mean you're uh, you're finishing up, Tony? I think I just need the power cable. Well, the good news is I have two of those, but only two of those. So it's the final piece of the puzzle. <laughs> okay. There you go. It's all put together. Cable. Here you go, sir. Thank you. So we're ready to almost power on the first PC in the second round of this PC building competition. I like remember. the power supply switch on. I believe it should work. Let's hope there's nothing wrong with this. Three, two, one. I see fans spinning. I, I see the RAM lit up. I believe, sir, you have just locked in your position in the finals of this Intel Creator Challenge. Congratulations, how's it feel? Feels awesome. Yeah? I'm him. Well done, Tony can now breathe a, a big sigh of relief. Yeah, cable management looks horrendous though. <laughs> I took so many shortcuts with this. I would like a power plug, please. Oh, the poet says he's ready to power on, which means he could be the final competitor in the next round. All he has to do is put on the final panels. We got this. This, this, this is close. Tech talker against tech talker, come on, you got this. This is quite yeah. close. Scatter Volt is, it's, he's creeping up. It's honestly just putting in panels. Who's gonna put in the panels first? Got it. The Poets, he comes out on top. But let's see if the computer actually boots. That's key. Scatter Volt over there is just pounding at the panels and I figured this is the time to intervene. So I really wanna go against Scatter Volt when it comes to a water-cooled PC build. He has less experience than the Poets. 
I see fans spinning. GPU, oh, we got, we got the RAM RGB lit up. Is the AIO going to light up though? All right, so it looks like a little bit more work needs to be done. That potentially gives an area of opportunity for scatter right. bolts. I think I was so in the moment. The adrenaline was so high, I literally didn't give a schnitzel <laughs> if Tony was actually helping me or not. Apparently, according to Tony, that was a strategic maneuver because the third round was gonna deal with water cooling. And if that was the case, the poets could have had an unfair advantage over him since he's more familiar with that than regular PC builds. So yeah, I think that was some 3D chess on Tony's part. Back fan is already you know. plugged in. Why isn't it going? It's all you know. We're into the debugging process. The poet's trying to figure out how to get the the last Where's of it? his the last of his build working. Oh, scatterbolt's plugging in. Three, two, one, and this is the closest I've ever seen a PC building competition come down to. Scatterbolt, we see the AIO lit up. All right, we're gonna have to go to some some replay of this because at this point in time, both of these computers are functional and they both turned on in mere milliseconds of each other. All right, okay, so the poet's AIO was not properly being lit up. And just like that, yeah, that's awesome. welcome to the finals. Well done, oh. well done. Oh. Uh. oh no, unfortunately the poets, that means that you have been eliminated for this round. It was such a cutthroat competition. It literally uh. came down to a single wire. Single wire. I'm taking this. He's taking it. Just over one cable with that NZXT Kraken AIO cooler. So I think I got lucky. Yeah, this was uh, frustrating to say the least because I'm like, it's done. It just, it's turning on. It's just not that AIO. So NZXT, we need to talk. This was my first experience utilizing your product. We need to, uh, have a little relationship going so I can blow through this and crush Tony Tech Bites in the next season. That honestly, great effort. <laughs> Can't be mad at that. That, that my friends, Good is stuff, is, is what you want out of a competition, which means we have our two finalists here, Scattervolt and Tony, going head to head in the last, the final round of this PC building competition. Let's get into round three. Our third and final build for the day comes from our good friends over at iBuyPower. Not only will it contain top of the line components, the kicker is that it also requires a custom liquid cooling loop. That's right, liquid cooling in a speed PC building competition. What could go wrong? On top of that, this build will feature a 13th gen Intel Core i9 and an Asus Prime Z790 motherboard, as well as a 3070 Super. To round things out, we'll have 32 gigs of DDR5 memory from Team Group as well as two one terabyte NVMe SSDs from Crucial. So with that, let's get to the building and crown our champion today. It took me a little bit to gather myself up after how close round two was. It turns out the water cooling we were supposed to do was more or less done for us. So it was merely a matter of getting the basics, of getting all the components in and filling up the radiator reservoir. So I felt like I could actually do it. I could pull it off and I was going into it thinking I can take it all. I had never water cooled a PC before, but I pulled up a YouTube video while I was eating lunch and I was feeling pretty confident. Our contestants are here. They will be sharing these two resources in their final build. And so, contestants, Scattervolt, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Tony Tech Bites, are you ready? Yes. You may begin your build in three, two, one, go! I'm gonna grab the water jug and fill my container first, just so I don't have to fight with scatter vault. And I can also conceal the water jug a bit better by placing it on the floor. This 
smiley face. Tony gets a bonus point. A time-saving measure I was gonna do was that on the bottom of the motherboard, since there's four M.2 slots, you can take off one heat shield and put two M.2 SSDs and throw that onto there so you don't have to unscrew two separate M.2 heat sinks. So knock out two birds with one stone. I noticed Scattervolt took out one of the heat sinks on the motherboard to install two SSDs. And I made the mistake of taking apart two heat sinks. So that cost a bit of time. How's it going over there? Dropping screws in I the hate case. these flipping standoff screws. So first off the bat, I noticed I had a lead on Tony. I had the motherboard and all that prepped to get into the case before heated. But at some point during the middle of that, I managed to cut my middle index finger. Ooh, look at this. Battle scars. Trying to screw in motherboard standoffs with a bloody index finger that you use to use your screwdriver with? Not the best. I look over and see Mark licking his fingers. Is the thermal paste that good? But then I notice it's blood. Blood sacrifice is not gonna save you, buddy. I couldn't even tell you how many water cool pieces I put together. So yeah, there's a lot of things I would have done differently. I think for this competition, what I would have 100% have done differently was not use that little tiny squirt bottle to fill the PC. That was a huge waste of time. This is a PC water cooling competition. You gotta just take it to the head. Just pour the jug right into the PC and you're good. Using that little water bottle thing, no, nah, that was not the way. How did it feel to, to, to build this this third round computer that includes the custom water cooling loop. Well, it's, it's not done yet. It's, uh, I think I'm getting there. Power cable. Close behind, Scattervolt is also ready to cycle. Our contestants are neck and neck in this final competition of this PC building challenge. At this point, they're just trying to distribute water throughout the entire system. At that point, I think they're going to be very close to completing these builds. Is it flowing? I can't even tell. I certainly see some tubes that are just air right now. I'm going through my head on all the possible issues. I'm checking the five volt ARGB cable. I'm checking where the CPU pump fan cable is. I'm checking all of that and I just can't figure out why my cycle, my loop isn't powering on. I know why, I know why, I know why. But we are getting to the end of this competition. Still looking. I mean, Tony's putting on his, his glass panel. So while this computer is running, it doesn't quite look like the loop is flowing. There's not water coming into these. Well, I don't think the, I don't think the, the fan is spinning at all in front. So the liquid itself is not dispersing. I knew exactly what was going on. That's an issue with the Molex because they both daisy chain it, but it's weird because Tony didn't daisy chain his Molex initially, so all of his RGB was working, and then when he went back in and fixed the pump, the RGB stopped working. So him and Mark were like neck and neck for five minutes, same exact point on both builds. It was cool seeing like them battle it out because the whole studio was just like dead quiet. I think I know the problem. There's only one CPU power cable and there's two on the motherboard, so that may be preventing the CPU fan handers no, from this cable. actually turning on. So I noticed Scattervolt on my side yapping about CPU power cables and I know that's clearly not the issue because an extra CPU power cable is meant for overclocking and it's not necessary. Try plugging that one. So Mark wanted an extra EPS cable because he thought it would supply the other 5 volt RGB header but it's not for that. We might just end up with another neck and neck race to the finish of the finals of this building competition.
was a little blotch of blood on this one. Blood sacrifice is not gonna save you, buddy. I guess you could say I had to leave my seal of approval on the build. Scatterbolt is marking his PC with his own blood. So I combed through my cables and noticed a Molex cable is daisy chained incorrectly. And uh, to throw them off, I started talking about the CPU power cable again. Do I see lights? This is the second CPU. I do see lights. But I know clearly that's not the issue. I see a lot of liquid flowing through those tubes now with everything I see so far. If Tony is just able to put on both of his panels. And just like what Scatterball did earlier, away from greatness. I'm trying to slam on these side panels and declare a victory. Are you done? I think that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Tech Bites, the winner of today's competition. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. High five, man. <laughs> well done. For, was, was this also your first time building with liquid cooling? Yeah, I've never built a custom water-cooled PC. <laughs> Makes it even more impressive to go through the gauntlet of building your third computer today mm -hmm. as fast as possible and taking on something brand new as well. Yeah. That's, how, do you, how do you feel right now? I'm still in shock. I mean, I, I said before I hate speed PC builds because I lost to PG Tech and we were doing what seemed like a super simple build and this is like a whole water-cooled PC and I don't even know how I, how I did this. Safe to say you have more than redeemed yourself. Congratulations, you're walking away with every single computer that you built today. So congratulations again, Thank and you. well done. And while Tony Tech Bytes came out on top, unfortunately that means that Scattervolt, you put up a valiant effort, but unfortunately you have been eliminated from the competition. You did, put, like you, you did put your quite literal blood, sweat, and tears into this yes. PC build. Yes. How do you think this one went? I hate it. You hate it? Terrible. This was also your first time, as, as I understand, building with liquid cooling, correct? Oh uh, yeah. I think what's confusing is all the cables going on in this area right here. Couldn't get the RGB to work, and I think that really hampered me. That said, though, I think it still needs a little more fluid, because <laughs> Tony's is all clear. It's all serene. Mine isn't yet. Well, even still, second place isn't too bad. You have proved yourself worthy of at least competing for the title. So congratulations. Thank you for competing today. So when building a computer, there's really seven main components to think about. And when doing so, you've got to make sure that everything's clipped into the exact right spot, everything has enough power, and everything is where it needs to be. Over the course of the day, we saw a lot of PCs get made really quickly. I'm pretty sure the first time I built a PC, it took me six or seven hours over the course of a couple days. And these competitors today built three computers in blitz speed. It was honestly super impressive. That was my takeaway from the day. So impressive watching someone hone their craft to build PCs as quickly as possible. All the components that you saw today, as well as the completed builds, are available in the links down below. Rest assured when you order the completed builds from NZXT, iBuyPower, and others, that those builds will be professionally made with a lot of care put into the cable management, which is not something that we took into account today. That's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching the Intel Creator Challenge. If you think you can build a computer faster than what you saw today, maybe we'll see you in the next season.